Hey, welcome to my very first ever video about how to make encouragement cards during this challenging time of COVID-19. I thought everyone could use some encouragement. So here's some examples of a project that I'm going to do with you today. It's really simple. It's something you might have maybe even done in elementary school. So kids as young as four would love this and adults as old as 99 would enjoy it. So I'm going to show you step by step um, how to do this. It's basically all you need is paint, some paper, some brushes, and a pencil. And here's some examples. This one's my favorite. Creativity takes courage. And here's another one. And you can put quotes over the top about creativity. Everything you can imagine is real. Picasso. Um, and then this one actually is really fun. It's just little ones on an altered book page. And then I added the creative adult is the child who survived. And it has all kinds of uh, little tiny butterflies over an altered book page. And then this is a fun junk journal that I've been working on if you've been following me on Facebook. Um, and it's in an old vintage book. And the theme is uh, flowers, family, and creativity. So I have done all kinds of different examples of flower art. A lot of it's fan art where I've seen stuff on Instagram or Pinterest that I've loved um, or just different art that I've done this past year that relates to plants or flowers. There's everything from markers to paint to sewing to felting um, and even my kids artwork is in there. Um, and I have my butterfly somewhere in here and there it is. And I haven't put a quote over this one, but um, I like it with the quote or without. But my thinking is, is that you could make this simple little uh, butterfly project and give it to someone as an encouragement um, and talk about how much you love them or how important creativity is. And so, and this is another thing is creating a junk journal which maybe I'll do some videos about that later. But here's the finished one of what we're gonna do. Um, and so now I'm gonna switch over to my drawing video. And actually it's drawing and painting. All right. So first you need to get a piece of paper, fold it in half, and you're going to be drawing half of a butterfly. It doesn't have to be the world's most perfect butterfly. Uh, just a simple butterfly. This is supposed to be fun and whimsical, nothing serious. So once you sketch out the butterfly with some pencil, then you're gonna get some paint. I started with black because I like how it stands out and it's really bold. You wanna put more than you need because what we're gonna be doing is folding it and making it magically appear on the other side, just like and then you're going to add some more paint to the body. Add some texture, shading, use thick and thin lines. Have fun with it. This is meant to be loose, light, and fun. And I actually had to step away for a minute and that's where I got a little bit of a tear, but it doesn't matter. Someone stopped by to drop me off a latte, so I had to take a break in the middle. So that's why it's stuck together a little bit, but I don't mind at all. It'll be a reminder of my nice, sweet neighbor who brought me a latte today. And I am adding some more pink and purple. And there's really no way to do this wrong, which is kind of nice. Um, you just add different colors. Um, I guess you could do too many colors and it could get muddy, but it dries pretty quick. I'm using a really inexpensive um, acrylic, uh, a combination of Craft Smart and uh, Apple Barrel, which you can get at Michael's or online for really affordable. So it's also nice to add some white because white gives it a little sparkle. Um, and I was kind of going for just sort of a rainbowy butterfly. And the quote that we're gonna be doing over the top is creativity takes courage. So I kind of wanted to have all kinds of different bright and vivid colors. 
Um, and the biggest thing to remember is plenty of paint and fold it every 20, 30 seconds. Because if you let it dry, you won't get very much. And it will be lighter on the opposite side, which is totally fine. If you like that kind of more faded reflective look on the one side, no worries, just leave it. But I kind of like to go in and add a little bit extra. What I like about this mirroring um, butterfly technique is that you can easily get a symmetrical butterfly without having to draw both sides. So it's like just quick and fast. Um, but I do like adding a little bit of extra hand touching up paint to the other side. So I hope it, you can see that this is really fun and easy and any age could do it. And uh, I'm kind of thinking it would be a fun thing to drop off at a neighbor's front door. Um, and you could, like I said, put any quote that you want or their name or you are loved or be free. I'm just really into creativity right now because creativity is what inspires me every day to get out of bed in the morning during this really challenging time where I'm missing people. I'm a total extrovert. So not being around people has been really hard for me. So running and uh, gardening and creating art has been what is keeping me sane um, during this quarantine. We're in our seventh week and creating art journals and um, doing different types of art is what's definitely kept me happy um, these last seven weeks. So um, yeah, so think about a quote that inspires you. It could be a, a, a verse from the Bible. It could be a quote from an artist. It could be about creativity. It could be just any, a poem or even someone's name or a word, joy. So, and then I just did it with a contrasting color, pink, and then I went over with black because I didn't feel like it stood out quite enough. Um, and I feel like pretty happy with how it came out. And again, it does not have to be perfect. This is supposed to be just light and fun. And then I didn't want it to look too perfect. So I decided to splat it with some yellow paint and I really liked that. So then I thought, ooh, maybe I should do some orange paint. And then if that looks so good, maybe add some pink, maybe some red. So the paint splats to me kind of reinforce the idea that being creative takes risks and the willingness to make mistakes. So I hope that uh, you guys enjoy uh, this video and we'll maybe make some butterflies and spread a little cheer and creativity in the world. And here is the finished product that I just showed you how to do. Um, and you can do any size you want. I did use a large piece of scrapbook paper, but you could use uh, a small little paper like this or a bigger one or an altered book page or anything you have around. All you need is just paper and paint. And I would love to see what you do. So if you um, are friends with me on Facebook, please um, send me some pictures, either email or post some pictures on my Facebook page. I would love to see your encouraging butterfly art. All right. Thanks for joining us. Bye.